Okay, we're just putting the finishing touches now with our bridge lashing on for the for the platform for the boy who's going to be sitting down. Oh, we have some narrow ones here. If we want to squeeze one in, and then we have everything pretty well lashed together to hold it all together, keep it strong. Okay, this is our uh, uh, prototype of a hand lashed sled. We started with two 8 foot 2 by 4s We cut a fairly steep bevel on the front. Then we drilled three 1 inch holes in about 16 inches from each end and then the middle of the board. And then we drilled a horizontal hole behind the two middle, yeah, right there. a horizontal mm -hmm. hole right here behind the two middle ones mm -hmm. and in front of the back one. Mm -hmm. Uh, the horizontal right holes are three-eighths of an inch. Mm -hmm. We then cut our pieces to fit. We started with a... I think it's an eight-inch? No, I'd lash it. Uh, a tripod, tripod lash. We started with a tripod lashing with the one piece coming up and the two coming down. And we lashed that and then we bent them down to give us a really tight fit here. We then lashed the back, top and bottom, lashed the middle, and then we finish with the cross bracing, these cross bracing, these cross bracing, these two are solidly lashed. These uh, through the middle are a bridge lashing, so they're merely for, uh, for support to keep them from wiggling around too much. It's a very stable unit. It wobbly. The table is kind of wobbly, but the... Yeah, the table moves, but this, this thing, I mean, as I move this around, it doesn't flex hardly at all anywhere. It's, it's a nice, good, stable sled. Um, as we talked about earlier, I would tie to pull from here, tie around right here to pull, uh, so you don't cause flexing. There's a little bit of flexing in and out here, and that would probably not be wise to tie low. I would tie right around here for your pull ropes. Good idea. And that should be it. Okay, now we'll try and show a little bit more detail of what Brent was just talking about. We suggest that you get your 2x4s, your 8-foot long 2x4s, before you go up to the Klondike Derby and get them prepared the way that Brent Hale and Loy Moser are doing here. And Brent, thank you so much for all your hard work and all your genius work. Notice that Brent is uh, leaving some space 16 inches on both sides of the pole. Then he's drilling the one-inch holes for the uprights. Those are one-inch holes that he is drilling. And again, we suggest you do this in advance, but you can do it up there at the Klondike if you have a power drill with you and then, and then the, the proper bit. We'll have a power drill there that you, that you can borrow if you need it. Uh, then when you want to get the uprights, uh, we, we, if you want to get them before the Klondike, we will have my red truck parked in the parking lot at Scout Service Center full of a, an abundance of limbs from trees that you can use to make your own uprights. Or you can get the limbs up there at the Klondike. We'll have plenty of limbs up there for you to choose from. There's your one-inch holes. And then you'll see just behind the one-inch hole, about an inch and a half behind, Brent is drilling a 3 8 inch hole all the way through the 2 by 4 and you'll see we're going to use that to tie the braces down and make them more secure. Make sure your boys have plenty of saws so they can trim up the, the limbs so they'll be more usable as you'll see we are doing here. And again we'll have plenty of limbs up there and you can get some in advance if you would like. Here Brent is uh, fine-tuning the, the uprights. He's whittling them down so we have a one inch diameter that will fit into the template that he has next to him on the on the workbench there. You can do it with a whittling, a sharp whittling knife or a hatchet and just whatever you do to make it down there so it's one inch in diameter and will fit nice and snugly into that one inch hole. You'll see when you get to the back upright end in the rear of the sled, the, the back uprights will be about 32 inches high. You'll see that in a moment here. And when we get the back uprights in there, then we put them in and we'll pound them in with a mallet. Make sure they're in there nice and snugly. And there's one of our 32-inch uprights. 
And then we get the other one done. And then we'll pound it in with a mallet. Make sure it's going to fit okay. There we go. Then the middle upright we will not cut down until we finish up. That's one of the last things we do will be to cut down the middle upright. However, the front upright is about 8 inches high. Now we start working with our braces. And as Brent mentioned in his introductory statements, the braces are tied down to that upright pole there, that 8 inch upright pole, using a tripod lashing. So there we have, because we have three poles, they're all being lashed together, so a tripod lashing works really well. Then we use square lashings for the other attachments, and it comes together, and we're getting there, we're getting there. And let's see here, uh, and again, all this work here, you'll be doing up at the, up at the actual Klondike Derby. The boys will be doing this all. Then we're putting those, the strings out there in the front. Now that we've got those braces down, we're going to tie those strings with strings and make them nice and secure. Make them tight so they can really hold those braces together. Notice the crossbar that's lashed just behind the tripod lashing there. We have a crossbar there. to make, We have that lashed down with a square lashing. There we go. That's nice and tight. Good, good, good. And then we have, behind the crossbar, we have our X lashings, our X bar, to make sure everything's going to be nice and secure. And then, as you saw at the very beginning, behind that X bar, you see we have a bridge lashing to lash the poles together where the boys are going to be sitting, where the boy is going to be sitting, who's going to be pushed. And then, now we'll, at last of all, we'll cut down those middle uprights, those middle braces, and we got, well, there we go, we're all ready to go, the finished product. It, uh, it can be done in a couple of hours with everybody working together. We'll see you on February 19th and 20th.